today I want to explain about duplication anomalies. So duplication in single um, usually we have a one kidney, one ureter, and then that goes to the bladder and opens somewhere there. Okay, so that is how normal ureter, urethra, everything is there. Now what happens is in uh, some patients, some children, this ureter is in two pieces. That means like there is one kidney and then there is one more part of the kidney. So what happens is this ureter opens here and then the other ureter often gets dilated and opens here and then it opens into a bulge. So this is called a ureterocele. So this ureterocele bulge sometimes causes blockage. So we have to make a puncture. Sometimes what happens is this ureter, the ureter itself, it does not open into the bladder, but what happens is it opens outside the bladder. So this is particularly a problem in girls where they keep on passing drops of urine. So that is another problem. And th this is the problem. Usually this part of the kidney is not functioning. So we have to remove it. Okay. And there is also another problem. Sometimes this kidney is uh, okay in the sense it is functioning. Uh, and this tube is also opening into the bladder. So that is another situation where this also opens here into the bladder. Both openings are there. But what happens is this kidney is functioning. But this portion is returning. So this urine is returning back. So what we need to do is we need to do a procedure called reimplantation to stop the reflux. Sometimes what happens is this bottom portion of the kidney also causes a bulging due to a blockage. So this place gets blocked and this case is blocked. So sometimes we have to do a surgery called phyloplasty. So duplication anomalies are problems so which can cause multiple uh, issues like a ectopic ureter which is opening it outside or a bulge inside the bladder called ureterocele or a reflex or a PUG obstruction. Thank you.